so tough. Usually when setting up camp, we try to divide up the work. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm good to go. Well, actually, what I'm trying to say is, uh, some of us might fetch water while someone else might set up the fire pit or put up the tent. Even Momo does his fair share. Katara, I'm fine. I can carry my own weight. I don't need a fire. I've already collected my own food. And look, my tent's all set up. Well, that's great for you, but we still need to finish... I don't understand. What's the problem here? <laughs> hey, Toph, I wanted to apologize for earlier. I think we're all just a little tired and getting on each other's nerves. Mm. Yeah, you do seem pretty tired. I meant all of us. Well, good night. Good night. Ugh, land, sweet land. See you guys in the morning. Actually, can you help us unload? Really? You need me to help unload Sokka's funky-smelling sleeping bag? Ugh. Well, yeah. That and everything else. You're a part of our team now, and look, I didn't ask you to help unload my stuff. I'm carrying my own weight. That's not the point. Ever since you joined us, you've been nothing but selfish and unhelpful. What? Look here, sugar queen. I gave up everything I had so that I could teach Aang earthbending. So don't you talk to me about being selfish. Sugar queen? D did you just slam the door in my face? How can you be so infuriating? Should we do something? Hey, I'm just enjoying the show. Okay, okay. You both need to calm down. Both? I'm completely calm! I can see that. Of course, we could have gotten some sleep earlier if Toph didn't have such issues. What? All right, all right. Everyone's exhausted. Let's just get some rest. No, I want to hear what Katara has to say. You think I have issues? I'm just saying, maybe if you helped out earlier, we could have set up our camp faster and gotten some sleep. And then maybe we wouldn't be in this situation. You're blaming me for this? No, no, she's not blaming you. No, I'm blaming her. Hey, I never asked you for diddly doodah. I carry my own weight. Besides, if there's anyone to blame, it's Shetty over here. What? You're blaming Appa? Yeah, you want to know how they keep finding us? He's leaving a trail everywhere we go. How dare you blame Appa? He saved your life three times today. If there's anyone to blame, it's you. You're always talking about how you carry your own weight, but you're not. He is. Appa's carrying your weight. He never had a problem flying when it was just the three of us. I'm out of here. Wait. <sighs> the palace will be packed. We can sneak in with the crowd. Won't work. Why not? Well, no offense to you simple country folk, but a real society crowd would spot you a mile away. You've got no manners. Excuse me? I've got no manners? You're not exactly Lady Fancy Fingers. Uh. I learned proper society behavior and chose to leave it. You never learned anything. And frankly, it's a little too late. Uh -huh, but you learned it. You could teach us. Yeah, I'm mastering every element. How hard can manners be? Good evening, Mr. Sokka Water Tribe. Miss Katara Water Tribe. Lord Momo of the Momo Dynasty. Your Momoness. Avatarang, how you do go on? <laughs> Katara might be able to pull it off, but you two would be lucky to pass as bus boys. But I feel so fancy. <laughs> wow, you look beautiful. Don't talk to the commoners, Katara. First rule of society. We'll get in the party and then find a way to let you in through the side gate. It's beautiful, isn't it? By the way, I'm Long Feng. I'm a cultural minister to the king. I'm Hua Mei, and this is Dung. Now, where is your family? I'd love to meet them. Uh, I don't see him right now, but I'm sure we'll find him soon. Thanks for all your help. 
Don't worry. As your escort, it would be dishonorable to abandon you ladies without finding your family first. We'll keep looking. <gasps> Toph, aren't you gonna get ready for the day? <laughs> I'm ready. You're not gonna wash up? You've got a little dirt on your... Everywhere, actually. You call it dirt. I call it a healthy coating of earth. Hmm. You know what we need? A girl's day out. Do I have to? It'll be fun. The fancy lady day spa? Sounds like my kind of place. Are you ready for some serious pampering? Sure, Katara. Whatever you say. As long as they don't touch my feet. wasn't so bad. I'm not usually into that stuff, but I actually feel girly. I'm glad. It's about time we did something fun together. Wow, great makeup. Thanks. For a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to them. Let's just keep walking. I think she looks cute. Like that time we put a sweater on your pet poodle monkey. <laughs> Let's go, Toph. No, no. That was a good one. Like your poodle monkey. <laughs> you know what else is a good one? <laughs> now that was funny. <laughs> Those girls don't know what they're talking about. It's okay. One of the good things about being blind is that I don't have to waste my time worrying about appearances. I don't care what I look like. I'm not looking for anyone's approval. I know who I am. That's what I really admire about you, Toph. You're so strong and confident and self-assured. And I know it doesn't matter, but you're really pretty. I am? Yeah, you are. I'd return the compliment, but I have no idea what you look like. <laughs> Thank you, Katara. I'm ready for some training. Good job, Twinkle Toes. Visualize, then attack. Ugh. Ah. Maybe you should take your own advice, Toph. What's the matter? Can't handle some dirt, madam fussy britches. Oh, sorry. Did I splash you, mud slug? Are we taking a break? Guys, I think these scams have gone far enough. If you keep doing them, something bad is gonna happen. Could you for once stop being such a sourpuss and just lighten up? Oh, I'm sorry. You think I should be more like you? Like some wild child? Yeah, maybe. Maybe then you'd see how great we have it. I mean, look at us. We're traveling around the world, making easy money, having fun, with no parents to tell us what to do. Ah, I see. You're acting like this because of your parents. Whatever. They were controlling over you, so you ran away, and now you act like your parents don't exist. You act like you hate them, but you don't. You just feel guilty. I do hate them. I don't think so. I think you miss them, but you just don't want to deal with that. So instead, you act like this crazy person. Look, I ran away to help Aang. You know what? It doesn't matter. 
These scams put us all at risk, and we don't need that. We've already got some third-eyed freak after us. We have enough money. You need to stop this. I'll stop when I want to stop, and not when you tell me. The truth is, sometimes Katara does act motherly, but that's not always a bad thing. She's compassionate and kind, and she actually cares about me. You know, the real me. That's more than my own mom. Don't ever tell her I said any of this. Hi, Toph. Um, I wanna... Katara, stop. You don't need to apologize. I was the one being stupid. These scams are out of control, and I'm done with them. Actually, I wasn't going to apologize. I was gonna say I wanna pull a scam with you. What? You wanna pull a scam? Not just any scam, the ultimate scam. What do you say, Toph? Just me and you. One last go. You in? You know I'm in. Now what's this idea of yours? Wait, it's a trap. Really? No kidding. Is that why we're sitting in a wooden cage right now? Gee, how'd you figure out it was a trap? Not for us, Katara. We're the bait. He wants A. Oh. I can't believe I was so stupid. See, this is exactly why I'm against these scams. I knew this would happen. But this was your idea. I know. I wanted to show you that I'm not so motherly. I wanted to show you that I can have fun too. Katara, you are fun. If nothing else, you're at least fun to argue with. I know your relationship with your parents is complicated and I shouldn't have said what I said. It's okay. I was really mad when you said that because, well, because maybe it's true. I try not to think about it, but when I left, I probably really hurt them. 